Hey, I found it. It's right there. Uh. <gasps> Gah. Oh, it stopped. Yes, it stopped. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> Please. You got that right. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. Whoa, what the hell is this? This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. Huh. Could be two stories. Maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. What's that huge Kamaboko-looking building in the middle? Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I see stairs, so we may as well head over to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Let's check out the other side, too. This looks to be the steam engine room. The steam engine room? Yes, that thing that looks like a cross-section of a mushroom is the boiler. Do you see the three round doors near the bottom? Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. All right, let's split up. Hey, what's wrong? Are you dying? Are you right? She's really high right now. Hey, June. Jumpy. You, oh, you're, you're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes, yes, it probably is, but I'm fine. Please, don't worry about me. I just need to rest, and I'll be fine. Okay, okay, uh, here, sit down, uh, careful. Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right, all right, let's get started. Hang in there, June. I'm gonna get you out of here real soon. Well, we're in the engine room, boys. It's time we got started. Hmm. There's some slots. Okay. Alright, so this thing transports coal. Okay, what do we got here? Huge oven for the boiler. Three open areas in it. Which one has a gear in it? Bronze gear. And then some rusty ones. How about this back thing? The conveyor belt, a small door that's welded shut. We are getting nothing out of this. Some wooden boxes, nothing in them. Uh, okay. Wooden boxes, there's nothing. I fucking hate you. What? <laughs> They're bags of sand, you asshole. <laughs> oh, I hate you. I do not like you. 
Silver Gear. Seven isn't that strong. He's like big, but come on, man. Okay, uh... Is it common sense? I guess I'm bad at that. The golden gear. Alright, nothing there. Oops. I don't... I don't like this room. Yeah, there's just nothing going on here. Alright, here we go. We got something. So this stuff needs to be prepared. Well, let's see. Can we move any of these? Shit. Hmm. Can't make any sense of that. Can we go up here? Got valves. Wow. This place is massive. I already feel sick. I think the fact that I've, like, found nothing is killing me. No way, meow. God damn it. Uh... Alright, so we need a wheel to operate that. Boxes in the way. Alright, nothing in C. Here we go. Well, I finally got the progress I've been waiting for. Alright. Let's get back. That was a long, long thing of just, hey, spin this. I believe the box. Yeah. June's down over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. 
Well, of course not. She's not going to just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's got to be exhaustion. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? You know, speaking of experiments... There was this experiment some scientists did with rats. First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Exit A is pitch black, so dark even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Which exit would the rat choose? B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Hmm? See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over, using hundreds of different rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like telepathy? They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made them do that. But I do know that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Hmm. Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. Hey, wait. There's something I want to ask you. What? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They could have just used a dry box, you know? If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have... I don't know... Put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. You ever think about that? Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. And to emerge means to sort of come out, or appear, or rise out of something else. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. Oh.
You know what I've noticed? This game likes to just talk about stuff. I find that conversation with Santa the same as the conversation with Lotus, where I'm gonna just talk about something for, for like a long ass time. The content's fine, but it's just, it's there, you know? It's not even that it's bad, it's just like, man, you're just going. You have a lot to say about this. You're here to tell me a tale. Wasn't this the, the pulley that we were meant to do? Or am I just crazy? Oh, here we go. I'm guessing that's exactly what we were supposed to get. Hmm. Where the f where the fuck were we? Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Hello. Let's press buttons. We got ourselves some power. Oh wait, you said there's a lot of coal in the box, so... Yeah, yeah, here we go. Oh, here we go. Put the coal in here. It took me way too long to find this. Are you not dead? Now let's just pour a bunch more in there. Maybe we can do the, um, the, the switch that didn't have an effect before. No, the stairs, dumbass. There we go. Also, yes, I speed through text when it's obviously, okay, we should do this, and we're doing it. Look at that split script. What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what? What do we have here? Gold disc. picked up some discs. Oh, here's stairs. Here we go. We 
When the disc is touched, it will rotate a certain amount. When the white arrows touch, the discs are switched. Please know when the discs are switched, the angles of the discs are reset. Huh. I know what they want. I have to make it so these, uh... These things make a perfect something. Whatever it is, I don't know. comes down to where feel like the red's got to be the center red's the most vibe yeah I think I think this is matching up kinda jackpot ah oh, finally I've had to do a few cuts in this one just cuz I was stupid and didn't notice the stairs that were slightly off to the side on one of the camera angles. The problem when you're, like, switching through JPEGs, I guess. Whatever I won, hooray. Kill me. <laughs> yes! The door's open! Alright, Junpei. Why don't you go get June now? Santa and I will keep an eye on this door. Why do we need to do that? Even if it shuts, we know how to solve the puzzle now. We could just open it again. Well, I suppose that's true. Shall all three of us go and collect June then? Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. So are you only interested in being contrary? All right, I'll go get June. I'll be right back. Oh, Jumpy! Are you okay? Yes. I'm fine now. I'm sorry I made you worry. Uh, let me check. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. Are you sure you're alright? Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. Oops, I mean, <laughs> warrior! <laughs> <laughs> alright, let's go. Go where? Oh, right. I didn't tell you. We got the exit open, so... Great! Let's go! It's... Santa? What are you looking at? What's up, man? It's a photo. It's my sister. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. She was only about an inch tall then? <laughs> <laughs> Good joke. She's probably dead. Oh, sorry. I guess an inch is a little large for a button. Probably more like a half inch. <laughs> He's gonna throw you off. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Why are you looking at it? <sighs> I was her Santa Claus. Wait, what? You're making this too real. We didn't have parents. They bought it in an accident when we were still kids. So I had to be like her dad. And that meant that I bought her Christmas presents every year. On Christmas Eve, I'd leave the present next to her pillow. And the next morning, she'd come running into my room with this big smile. Look! Look! Santa left me a present! He got me that doll I really wanted! I'm so glad he got my letter! She was always so excited. I was the one who told her to write those letters. I'd say, write down something you want and mail it to Santa. The address I gave her was somewhere in Northern Europe that doesn't exist. Anyway, she'd write the letter and stamp it and send it out. And then a few days later, it'd show up back in her mailbox marked Address Unknown. I'd open the letters before she figured out they'd been sent back. Once I had the letter, I'd go around to a couple stores with some money I'd saved up over the year and buy her the stuff she'd asked for. It took a lot of saving, but I managed to buy her presents every year. Huh. Huh. But one year, her letter was different. She didn't write a list of toys she wanted or anything like that. Instead, it said, 
I don't want any presents this year. Instead, I want you to make my wish come true. My wish is that we'll be happy like this for a really, really long time. That was it. Nothing else. But I couldn't make that wish come true. Some Santa I am. What happened? She died. She was killed. Nine years ago. Oh. <gasps> All right. Let's go. Hmm. That was a very long backstory I didn't necessarily ask for, huh? but thank you. Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, you're finally back. Sorry we took so long. Let's go. Huh. Is this a warehouse? No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Well, we probably ought to start with finding the exit, right? Let's get going. Oh man, jumping right into another one of these. It's okay, I'm a professional or something. That's not true at all. This is gonna be terrible.